Hello everyone. So today we would be looking at how we can export the tendons from the Midas civil model to a PNX model. So basically this is the model which we would be using for demonstration purpose. So you can see this is a line model basically and we can just display the tendon profiles. So these are the tendon profiles which we have used. It's a simple PSC box cutter. Okay, so we would be exporting this uh, along with the geometry and the tendons to FENX. So let's start how we can do that, right? So we can just go to the export and we'll just choose the frame section to solid. And it's asking that what all are the elements we need to select uh, which are needed to be exported, right? So we would be exporting all the elements here and we would be checking on this tendon profile as well. So we can uh, just select the tendon profiles which we want to be exported as well but for the timing we would be exporting it all so I'll just click on OK here and I'll just give this as box section and in dot .mcs file would be created I'll just click on save here okay so this is the editor file which will get created for the FENX part right I'll just close this okay I'll just open the FENX so in FENX is the base model which I have taken okay and I've already defined the materials and the properties in this particular section so we can see this is the concrete properties which I've already entered and this is the tendon properties basically the steel tendon which we would be using okay and coming on to the properties for concrete and tendon I have I've just created two properties here first one is for the concrete which is a solid uh, 3d solid type and second one is the tendon right so when creating a tendon we can just go to create and 1d and we have a separate option for tendon here okay and we can just uh, choose the material which we have already created as tendon and we can just enter the tendon area and all the parameters which are related to the tendon losses so these can be entered and we can see we have already entered here the tendon so we have taken uh, 100 mm square uh, the area and I've taken the relaxation coefficient we can just click on check on relaxation coefficient so it will include that as well and we can enter all the friction factors and the anchorage slip uh, factors here so we'll just click on ok so we have already defined the uh, properties the material and material and the, sec uh, the properties for the uh, elements we feel which we will be exporting we'll just go to geometry and we can see this option frame to solid right so we just click on frame to solid and we'll just uh, select the meta section file which we have created I'll just go to box section so I've selected the box section and I'll just uh, we can also generate the meshes as well so while we are exporting we can automatically generate the mesh as well so I'll just generate the mesh I'll just click on this uh, turn on option and just I'll take an element size of one meter okay and just I'll name it the geometry as sorry the geometry set as box section okay I'll just click on okay and the geometry and the meshes will be generated now so you can see the geometry is generated and now uh, the meshing is also done so automatically we can see the meshing and the uh, geometry has been created in the solid form from the line element form okay so I'll just turn this meshing off and I'll just show you the tendon profiles which are exported here so these are tendon profiles these are 1d element types okay so we can see that from in the under geometry box section and this is the curved part like these are the sections which is exported in form of the 1d element types right so now we would be looking at how we can manually generate tendon profiles in FENX okay so I'll just turn on the meshing here okay so we have this tendon profile option under the geometry tab we'll just click on the tendon profile and I'll just go on to the isometric view right okay so these are all the parameters which are quite similar to Midas Civil so these are the uh, state length of tendons we can define the beginning and end, end of the tendon and these are the curve types like we can have this fine and round these are the usual parameters which we already have in Midas Civil as well so we'll just define the profile here I'll just click on 0 comma 0 comma and at Z we would be having minus 0 0.1 which is 100 mm and I'll just click on the X as 40 and the Z as minus 0 0.1 right and we'll have the profile insertion point as 0 comma 0 which means that it's the reference point basically and I'll just go to the so this is the 0 comma 0 line right 
and you can see the tendon which is created 100 mm below the 0, 0,0 line right so this 100 mm denotes that and as far as the x-axis is concerned it is a longitudinal distance right so this girder is basically 40 meters long so I have entered 0, 0,40 so this is a tendon in the red line you can see that this red single line uh, straight line is created right and we can just enter the x-axis rotation angle and the x and y direction and along which we need to rotate it right so these can be entered so this is the uh, gradient of rotation angle so these can be entered these are quite similar to midas civil only so i'll just name it as tendon okay i'll just click on okay right so we can see i'll just turn off turn off the mesh and we can see that apart from the tendons which were exported a new tendon is created here which we have created right manually so these this is basically a geometry section right now so basically we need to remesh uh, basically we need to mesh these tendons first so we would be going on to the mesh and we'll go to 1d meshing right i'll just select the objects i select all these uh, tendons here okay and the size i would take it as one meter only for this i'll just name the mesh set as tendon okay i'll just click on okay we have generated the ten, uh, the meshing for the tendons right so we can see turn on the mesh and all the meshes can be seen here i'll just turn off the box section so that the tendons are visible okay so now we would be assigning the pre-stressing to the tendons right so we'll just go to static analysis and we'll just go to the pre-stress part right so i'll just turn off the box section so that only the tendons are visible yeah so i would be taking the element type as tendon okay and the type would be taken as mesh set only i would be just selecting all the elements here right and i would be using the stress let's say it's 1395 mpa for the timing so i'm just converting it into kilonewton per meter square so this, this is the stress which i would be taking so i'll just name it as pre-stress and i'll just click on ok so you can see these pink uh, dots so pink circles it represent the pre-stressing in uh, nfenx ok and now now that we have defined the geometry and the uh, pre-stressing we would just be uh, describing the boundary conditions as well so we'll just go to static analysis uh, and we'll go to constraint that's the basic uh, definition would be there for under the pinned part only so i'll just select all the nodes at these ends so these would be defined as the pinned connection i'll name it as pin I'll just click on OK. So we can see under the analysis, we have defined the pinned connection. You can see this is pinned, right? So we have defined the basic uh, geometry and the pre stressing, right? So we'll just go to analysis and I'll just name it, I'll just uh, activate all the sets here and I'll just name it as linear static. OK and i'll just click on okay right i'll just click on solve here so the analysis is running and you can see that the meta solver is running here and it will just take a few seconds so you can see the analysis has been completed and with zero warnings so we can just go to the results and under under the linear static you can see there are two options here the first one is the tendon element forces and second is the tendon element stresses right so we can separately see the forces and stresses in the tendons here so these are the stresses here so what we can do is we can turn off the mesh for the box section we can just see the tendon forces here so these are tendon forces you can see the highest is 1334 this is the contour plot and when we, if you want to see the tendon stresses so these are tendon stresses here i can just convert the units from the newton per mm square so you can see that it's the maximum stress is around 13 33 mpa so you know we had around 1395 we uh, assigned and due to some losses there is some reduction in forces so these are the tendon stresses which we are obtaining here and uh, we can also get the table tabular format as well so these are this is the table formula format which we can easily copy paste in excel for our design and analysis purpose if you want so this is all about how we can you know export the tendon profiles from midas to fenx and how we can manually define the tendon profiles in fenx as well so thank you that's all for today